Hey peeps, Justin here. Welcome you to another edition of AtakusandGeeks.com Reviews. Justin here, you already know who I am, and today I'm going to be reviewing Venom, which stars Tom Hardy. As always, I give you a brief synopsis, so here we go. Journalist Eddie Brock is trying to take down Carlton Drake, the notorious and brilliant founder of the Life Foundation. While investigating one of Drake's experiments, Eddie Brock merges with the alien Venom, leaving him with superhuman strength and power. Twisted, dark, and fueled by rage, Venom tries to control the new and dangerous abilities that Eddie finds so intoxicating. And you know what? I would definitely have to say I had fun with Venom. I had fun for what it was and what it is. I, I've seen tons of reviews before I even went to go see the movie. And you know what? For the most part, the complaints that critics have about lack of characterization, uh, undeveloped plot, you know, the third act ends very abruptly. I definitely agree with that. But for the most part, through the first two acts, I really did enjoy it. I, I feel that the third act it felt very rushed it's just like hey we are going over budget or we're really out of time we have to get this out before october just wrap it up wrap it up and i will say let me just start off with a couple of the cons venom suffers from what a lot of superhero movies till this day suffer from and that is the villain the villain is very weak when it comes to character development I mean, Carlton Drake, we get a sense of who the man is, but he's that typical cookie-cutter corporate villain that has zero empathy for anybody as long as it's furthering his career and what his dreams and goals are. And that will work in a corporate type of movie when both people are corporate. This is a superhero film, and we've seen this type of cliche beaten to death. And not to mention the actual symbiote villain or symbiote or symbiote. There's various ways people pronounce that. So you gotta forgive me. I'm saying all three. So anyway, so the symbiote or symbiote uh, villain, he is so just shoehorned in there in the final act that we really did not even get his real character development established that we were, I was actually really hoping for. And the Ending climactic battle just felt very underdeveloped. It just felt there was like, it, it was no real stakes to it. The stakes wasn't built enough for me to care. And I, that was a one problem I had with Venom. But on the positive side, Tom Hardy is entertaining as hell as Eddie and Venom. And I think what really works with this film is the actual chemistry between the two characters. And that is what really kept the, me and the audience with the theater I watched it with really engaged. There is tons of humor in this, which I kind of wish they scaled it back a bit. But for the most part, it worked for what this character and what this story was trying to tell. But I would really like a little bit more of a serious tone from a Venom film. I mean, this is a man who is basically being controlled by this alien being and they're cracking jokes at each other and there's a lot of humor in it. I mean, it's very a lighthearted tone for a PG-13 movie. And I expect it a little bit more darker. I will say that would be one of my complaints. I'm not talking dark night dark, but I mean, for like the character that Eddie Brock really is in the comics, I would have liked to see a little bit more of a comic book representation accuracy when it came to Eddie and Venom. Um, I would say the action was pretty good. I felt the CG was pretty good for what it was. There was some little points that you, the CG could needed a little bit more polish and a little more work from a technical standpoint. Um, the action, uh, I would say in the third act was a little bit difficult because it's just that quick camera type of close-up that I really don't like. I don't, I don't like the quick cuts when it comes to action made sometimes very hard to keep up and hard to see in um, various situations especially since the final battle is at night and venom is black and he's dark and everything else and riot is it's really hard to tell from times like you really get to see the battle when they get pulled away from um each other you get when the uh camera angle goes a little bit more for a wider shot um, Michelle Williams, she was good in this, but I felt very underutilized, wasted, just basically the typical supportive girlfriend. I, they did allude to maybe she might be she Venom down the line, but I would definitely like to see more of her in this. Uh, I thought she's a brilliant actress and she just felt a little more wasted here. Um, 
Otherwise, overall, you guys, Venom is a fun popcorn film. It does have its flaws when it comes to that third act. Uh, Tom Hardy is entertaining, so if you really want to be entertained and just turn your mind off, Venom might be the movie for you. It's just a very 90s-based superhero film, and you know what? That's not bad. It did what it had to do. It already made its money, so I would recommend it as a rental wait for it to netflix wait for a streaming service i want to go to this in theaters right now i will wait for it to hit dvd um if you want to score i'm gonna give it a c plus it's a pretty average film and if you guys like stars i'm gonna give it a, a three and a half it's pretty good with tom hardy in it i um, i just felt that tom hardy was very entertaining to watch um, but overall the film the third act is a complete mess it falls on its ass and I just felt like it finished too quickly. So, if you want more detailed reviews, head over to TacosandGeeks.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This is Justin saying, later days. I'll catch you on the next one.